Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. past videos like last week I was at Farrell's y'all know I love those old-timey cheeseburger places which brings me part of the reason here to Tompkinsville today we just got through with uh, R&S barbecue and now we're stopping in at Dovey's hamburgers the place been here since 1938 and it's a special unique style of burgers that you're probably not gonna find anywhere else that was another big draw for me. I want to show you more and talk about more of that when we get in there. But uh, as you see, this is a Southern Hospitality landmark, it says on the sign. And they can serve RC Cola, which you can't get any more old school than that. And we also have my dad's friends, the Short Brothers, in here waiting on us. You want to add anything? No, uh, we just got things to eat in the barbecue, but now I'm ready for this world famous hamburger they have here, the special way of cooking. All right, and like I said, just got through eating at uh, uh, LNS. That was enough to take the edge off, to, but now I'm going to finish it off with these burgers here. Be right back. Dovey's Burgers Apart are actually partially deep fried. You see, it's got about a quarter, a half inch of grease in there. And instead of smashing them out like a smash burger, they just let them fry in that grease. And look, they got three grills working there. And you can get them squoozed or unsquoozed. Is that right, ladies? Or is oh, yeah. it squeezed and unsqueezed? Oh, yeah. Squeezed? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll explain more about that in a minute. But this looks like my kind of burger. As greasy and delicious as you can get. Be right back. I'm going to show you what I got. I just ran into a regular here. I asked her how long... They've been coming here and they said their whole lives. Young lady, what's your name? Angie Ford. Okay, so tell me what you know about this burger and what sets it apart and makes it so special. Well, I left Compensville 18 years ago uh, after a divorce and every time I come to Tinville, I've either got to get a barbecue or a nutty burger. You cannot find a nutty burger nowhere else. You can see you either get it squeezed or unsqueezed with a lot of grease. Uh, I am on a diet, but never once a while. So. Yeah, you gotta have your cheat day. You have to have a cheat day, and Dougie burgers are the best. They also have hot dogs, great eggs, breakfast, anything. But if you're ever in Thompsonville, please stop by Dougie. Okay, like I said, they're known for the Monroe County barbecue, but they also are known for the Dovey burger. All right. Y'all need to pay attention, Louisvillians, because you're not going to get anything like that no. in Louisville. All right. We'll be right Did back. you get your squeezed or unsqueezed? Squeezed. Squeezed. Okay. You don't like all that extra uh, grease? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm all about the grease, you know, yeah. which, by the way, disclaimer, everybody, heart patients, yeah, right. you probably don't want to be coming here. Yeah. <laughs> don't be trying to sue my YouTube channel saying I was a bad influence on you. All right, oh, they got me hungry again. I'm about ready to get me about two or three of these burgers. Maybe even get a sack full for the road. All right, nice quaint little place here, all open. They got the cooking area right smack dab in the middle of the room. So, and then a countertop that does a horseshoe around it. So it's up close and personal and uh, kind of an intimate setting here. You see, uh, they've got plenty of recognition and awards. Kentucky Best Hamburger, 2018 and 19. So they got all the accolades to go with it. I had the regulars point out to me that they actually have the three different grills. Because it starts up, they cook it in a process of three different temperatures. 
uh, where one's lower, then they move it up and get that char on it. So, yeah, there's a scientific method to this. The stockings are probably for the gals that work here. So if you're coming in here between now and Christmas, make sure you put a nice little stocking stuffer in for the gals there behind the counter. So you see here, if you're paying in close, Dad, on these burgers, I got them the old school way with the pickle onion. It usually be mustard, but it's the special dovey sauce which is a base of ketchup, mustard, or is it? Ketchup, mustard, onion, something like that, I believe. And we're gonna put that pickle onion on there. Mmm. Mmm. Juicy. And I got mine unsqueezed. Let's come straight out of that grease. Undrained. But you can see that bun soaks it up. Mmm. Now I gotta do the ketchup dip. That's got to be the juiciest burger I've ever had in my life. Okay, I'm going to work on these. I'll be back, and I'm going to show you something else. All right, All right. so got another burger here, which I want to make a correction on that sauce I was telling you. Uh, it's ketchup. The base is ketchup, mustard, and pickle juice, but they're not telling me how much of each. That's the secret around here. That's what makes the sauce secret and unique. All right, I might take this one to go, but I had to get the hot dog because I heard the hot dogs were real good. And young lady, can I get a little sauce? I'm gonna dip in this hot dog, some of your special oh. sauce. Be right back, I'm gonna get that cup of sauce. You're on. All right, so here's the special sauce I was telling you about. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little dip action here. Mm. We're gonna leave zone. Y'all know y'all know how to get there. Yeah, we got it now. Probably not too much in school though. Yeah, we'll we be right there. Okay, deal. We're gonna head out to my dad's friend's house after we leave here. All right, that hot dog is great. It's got a nice little crisp on it because it's deep fried, and that's a good quality hot dog too. And this sauce, unbelievable. It's got little chopped minced onions in there. You see like the little chunkiness there? That's actual onion. And then of course I love pickles, so you mix in the pickle juice. It don't get no better than that. Mm. All right, that it? I'm gonna finish up here. Give you some final thoughts outside, more information. Be right All back. Right. I lied. I can't take this burger for the road. It's so good, I want to eat it fresh while the grease is still hot. Mm. Let me have a bite of it. Oh! I hope y'all notice that triple snapping turtle my dad just pulled off. All right, hold on. Well, this burger ain't gonna last long. Got dab with the triple snapping turtle move. Are these quarter pounders? These burgers? Young lady? I don't know. I've only been here like. Well, I'll tell you what, you, you got trial by fire. They got you here in the trenches. You learn quick. It seemed like I remember hearing that the owner, by the way, the owner, uh, Mr. Moore, is a grandson of the original Mr. Moore that opened this in 38. 
And I heard, some, I read something where they said that they don't even have a scale when they make their hamburger balls because they've been doing it so long, they can mark, they can get it right within a hundredth of an ounce on their burgers when they measure them. Measured by hand, no scale. All right. Finish this and we'll be right back. Yeah, I'll let you know, they don't do french fries here. They do potato chips and different assortments of uh, chips. So you can order them. And like I said, real simple menu. Hamburgers, hot dogs, and they do have full breakfast here every day. And I hear the breakfast is out of this world. All right, I'm gonna meet you outside. I'll give you some final thoughts. All right, so as you saw, you can tell by looking, this is probably one of the best burgers you're ever gonna have. Juiciest by far. And now y'all know where that double and triple snapping turtle move came from. Came by it honestly, because he just put a demonstration on there. So Deb, what'd you think? I thought it was really a great uh, cheeseburger. I'm still full from the barbecue, but that tasted great. And uh, that triple snapping turtle come naturally. That's the way I used to eat all the time. And he learned it when he was growing up. And subconsciously, that comes natural to him. But anyway, it was a great place. But I told you, a scientific method to it. The first bite of the snapping turtle goes to the back of your throat. So the taste buds back in the palate get the initial flavor burst. And then you come with the second and the third. And the full cavity of your mouth is just dancing with flavor. So anyway, it might not look appetizing, but there is scientific method to it. All right. So if you're down this way in South Central Kentucky, you got to stop in for... Uh, What's the barbecue? R&S Barbecue. And there's several other barbecue places around here too that have the Monroe County Barbecue. But definitely got to stop and get a Dovey Burger. You'll never get another one like it anywhere, nor will you get the Monroe County Barbecue anywhere, except for Smoky Pig and Bowling Green, because they're from here. That's how they know how to make it right. But anyway, we're gonna hit on the road, stop by visit his friends, Steve Short, with the Monroe County Boy Bluegrass okay. Band. And here we have the Short Brothers. Uh, and this I'm sorry, Danny, Danny, Danny Steve, Steve, and Charles. Charles. And, Charles and uh, Steve's the one I told y'all was in the Monroe County Boys Bluegrass group. Played the mandolin, and what, what singing part did you have? The tenor? No, no lead. He was on the lead. He was on the lead. Okay. So did y'all have a high pitched tenor voice in that group? I always like to listen to those tenors sing at bluegrass. Stanley's band that used to play around and it showed a segment where his fiddle player, Curly, passed away. 